welcome to this week's book review. I'm Darren Persinger, founder of ProductivityJunkies.com and weekly review, reviewing for you business books, personal development books, any type of book that might help you get some education and your learn on so you can have a better personal development and business development and grow, learn, and succeed in what it is that you want to achieve. So this week's book review that I'm going to share with you is called Surviving Your Serengeti. Surviving Your Serengeti, author is Stefan Swinepoel. This book is not yet available, not published yet, but it will be available February 22nd, so if you want to go pre-order it. But I got my hands on uh, an early edition. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. This book is for people that don't like business books, all right? If you don't like sitting down and listening to all those case studies, numbers, facts, and figures, that type of thing, you know, the, the type of business books that read more like a textbook, You'll love this book then because it's a narrative. Um, it's a tale. Stefan tells the tale of a husband and wife, Sean and Ashley, that go on to an African safari to the Serengeti and the things that they learn from their guide named Zachariah. And Zachariah teaches them the wisdom of the Serengeti based upon the seven, seven different animals there in the Serengeti. So it's pretty cool that w what you start to learn then are, you know, what are the strengths of each of these animals and then turning around and become re reflective on what are my strengths and what are my weaknesses as I approach my business and my personal life. So if you're into personality be, uh, profiles or behavior profiles, things like the DISC, the DISC or the Myers-Briggs profile, things like that, you're going to love this book, all right? Along with that, if you want to go and find out what animal you are before you even grab a hold of the book, Stefan set up this cool site, whatanimalami.com, and you can go do an assessment and immediately find out which of the seven animals you fall under. I personally fall under the elephant, so I'd love to hear what you guys are after you go and do this profile test. Um, let me know what, your, what animal you, you turn out to be. So, uh, on closing, who I think this book is for, I think this is a must read for anyone that wants to have a better understanding, become more aware of who they are and what their strengths are as they approach their business and their personal life. Also, I think this is a must read for anyone that wants to have more influence in the, around the people in them in their life. Because in order to have influence with people, you need to have a better understanding of them. So if if this book can help you identify what other people's strengths and weaknesses are, you'll have a better opportunity to influence them and be a great leader in your business and your personal life. So that's who I would recommend this, this book to. By the way, one last thing on closing. As I said, this is a narrative and a tale, and Stefan does an amazing job of, of bringing the Serengeti to life and, and transporting you to that place. About halfway through the book, as I was reading it, I just looked up at my girlfriend and I said, we need to plan a trip to Africa. I, I have to go see this. I want to go experience this myself. So we're starting to plan our African safari for 2012. Go pre-order this book on Amazon, Surviving Your Serengeti. I really think you guys will enjoy it.